Welcome back. Drinkers of Distinction. I've been sitting on this one for a couple of days because as you can see, she's a fucking big can. 440ml, 10% uh, by Dayton. No mucking around. She's 3.5 standard drinks. Imperial Red Ale. Chewy. Of course, you can see why. Hey. <laughs> and I've got a Holgate called Millennium Falcon to go over as well. But yeah, I've been sitting on this beer because <clears throat> I'd already had a few over the last couple of days and I was just like, oh, I don't want to overdo it and really want to pay the, the beer respect. You know, you pay yourself respect as well. It's not just about, you know, not about getting too carried away. I'd rather, you know, enjoy something. Not have a gut full and be like, oh yeah, mate, oh, I'll crack that, that'll, that'll knock me over. Nah, mate, that's not why I drink. And as you can see, not overly fizzy. A lot of high percentage beers aren't. Look at the colour though, beautiful. I can smell that from here. I imagine it to be nice and malty, as most uh, reds are. Cheers. Oh yeah. Multi, multi, multi. I actually thought it was called chewy because it was so gonna be so thick it'd be chewy. <laughs> like Dempsey says about the perks on Black Ops. Why is this stuff so damn chewy? Well, this is in honor of chewy, I'd say. But yeah, paid eleven for the can, and I think that's an absolute steal. Ten percent, huh? Up at Campanas, that's for one of the reasons I love going there so much. You know, but it's about variety for me, you know? Mmm. <sighs> Slightly fruity, very malty, not super rich. I don't think it's super duper rich. <clears throat> I might be able to read the... I had to, I've to try to solve the light problem. I pulled the outside blind down a bit, but because this can's so dark, it looks like there's a lot more light in here, but there isn't. Unleash the beast within. This rebellious brew is bold and hoppy with a deep multi backbone that will leave you howling for more. Rawr! Rawr! Hey, I'll play along. I'm a good sport. But yeah, I don't know how available it is. I don't know who's stocking it, where you can get it. Uh, I'm assuming it's a limited. So, yeah, the, the, the lads at Campanas have got the finger on the pulse. Happen to know a few of the right people. And uh, rat bags like me, distinctive drinkers, it's one of the reasons I advise you to get up there. You cannot just find this beer anywhere. Oh yeah, reminds me of creamy soda, just a little bit, because it's got that nice, multi, earthy, creamy, mmm, oh yeah, there it is, oh, there we go, that's fucking flavour, oh, this is, this is a religious experience, trust me, oh my goodness. It's another reason why I wanted to wait. Sober mind, you know, clean palate. <laughs> oh, that's his belt that he wears. I thought that was meant to be like some fucking land and strip or something. That's his belt. Oh, uh, you can see I'm not I'm not a Trekkie, I'm not a fucking Star Wars head. But yeah, it's a cool design can. Just wish the camera would focus a little bit better. <clears throat> Yeah, really, really fucking nice. Really nice. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Ha ha! Woohoo! Focus. <laughs> but yeah, when I bought this, I got Garage Project Space Cake. It's a brown ale, 6.2%. Moondog Fruit Harvest, I think it's called. It's 7%. Then I got this at 
10%, and another double IPA called Turnstiles at 12.4% or something. That's why I've had them the last couple of days, because I've been getting a six pack of Stomping Ground, plus a couple of others, and they, they're just too big. Like, after I've had a gut full of Stomping Ground at 5%, I fucking, I wasn't gonna, no, no, no. just be too much. So, yeah, there you go. Drink responsible, if you want, it's your choice. <laughs> it's up to you. But yeah, it's like I say, I'm, you know, just sharing the message of good brews and good times and hope to be informative and all that good stuff. I've crapped on for way too long. I'll see you next time. <laughs>